There's an old saying, brewers make wort and yeast make beer. So if you're gonna spend money on making better beer, doesn't it make sense to spend money on the little guys that are actually making the stuff? Hey everyone, my name is Nick with Brewing TV, and today I'm gonna to show you the Oxygenation Kit 2.0. It comes with almost everything you need right out of the box. You've got your regulator, your tubing, and your 16 inch wand and at the end of that wand you've got your 0.5 micron diffusion stone and that guy will add all the tiny little bubbles for you right in the solution. The only thing you need to buy separately is a small disposable oxygen tank which you can get at almost any home hardware store. Alright so when there's oxygen present in the wart the yeast will reproduce but as soon as that oxygen runs out they switch to making alcohol and CO2. So you need to ensure there's a lot of oxygen in the wort to uh, create a viable colony of yeast to make sure you have good beer. Old school methods of adding oxygen like shaking the carboy or using an aquarium pump are better than nothing but pale in comparison to the amount of O2 you get from a tank. To use your oxygenation kit, screw the regulator onto the oxygen tank. Be careful to avoid touching the diffusion stone directly with your fingers. The oils from your skin can actually clog the tiny little pores here. Your wort will actually probably be wort colored as opposed to clear because this is water because this is a demonstration. Insert the sanitized wand into the neck of your carboy. Adjust the knob on the regulator to open the valve. And start aerating your wort. You really only need to run this thing for about 15 to 30 seconds to get the proper amount of oxygen into solution. Turn off the regulator. When you're done, just rinse it off so you don't clog the stone. And that's it. Just pitch your yeast, add your bung in your airlock, and sit back, relax, and let billions of little microbes do all the work for you.